guys, look at all this. I got all this for 500 pesos. So 500 pesos is a pretty good deal considering there's meat in this uh, group of stuff. So I'm going to show you how you can get all this for cheap and we'll go from there. What is up world? So behind me is a local market. They do it once a week for this barangay. Barangay kind of means like village. They sell meats, uh, chicken, you know, fish, a lot of locally grown vegetables, eggs, all very local stuff, a lot cheaper than the grocery stores. So I'm gonna have my fiance go through the line and see what she can get. I'll record a little bit and show you guys what's in that mix. They do check your temperature and you kind of have to go in this like S pattern through everything, kind of the social distancing that they've implemented here. So let's go see what we can find, guys. Peanuts, about two dollars a kilo. Calabaza. One papaya left. All this is uh, local grown. There's some uh, chilies. Yeah. Good, perfect fit. Man, you're good. Got some pork, some ribs. What else we got here? Kind of chicken drumsticks. Don't know what that is. Some like little fish. Got some fresh eggs. Got some fish. It's not too bad. I mean, ten dollars a pound for some fresh fish that are caught locally. Kind of put little fish. Salmon in the bag. That's actually a big cut of salmon. I had a pork belly. That's probably what we would have got. I like the pork belly. You want What kind is it? Those are spare ribs. There. I mean, you can if you want. Yeah. It's up to you. I mean, what are you gonna cook with it? Bulelo. Huh? Bulelo. Bulelo. Yeah. If you want. Got some fishy fish, fish there. No idea what that is. I have to go back through the right maze the wrong way. So my fiance doesn't follow the rules and doesn't pay attention that everybody else is walking the other way. up to you. Got it? Yeah, it doesn't look that good though. Okay, let's go. Um, looks, looks like it's old. We got chilies, peppers. 
No, I'm fine right now. I'm just... Go on. Bunch of potatoes and onions. Some fresh carrots. Fancy again. Certainly. Stops. We've already kind of did our turn, but she's just kind of... is the line uh, now that they have set up to buy vegetables I think I'm gonna let my fiance much I don't know just give you a and get a no, not my whole wallet. <laughs> Just kidding, love. <laughs> get a thousand. I'm gonna go get a energy drink if the 7 Eleven's open. Just buy a fish sauce. I don't know what kind of fish sauce to get. Uh, okay, I will buy later. Yeah. I don't want to get the wrong thing because we, we won't use it. See that? I just. Uh, I gave her a task. I was being a leader. I didn't want to really want to wait through that line. It looked like it was moving pretty quick though. What I'm going to do is go to the 7-Eleven here and get me an energy drink. Nothing! Nothing! Trying to see if there's a snack I want. Thank you. Anything else, sir? That is it. Mm -hmm. I probably have to. Mm -hmm. Going right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you. People seem to be nice. Uh, you know, they're uh, going to move us to the new quarantine rules soon. So, if I keep my mask on right, if you don't wear your mask on correctly, there's no point. <laughs> At least that's what I tell my fiance. Mine's still a little bit wet. I washed it guys so the market definitely worth it you can get some fish that are locally caught there's uh, some eggs some vegetables like I was saying before I was able to find some vegetables I usually can't get like broccoli so that was nice definitely check it out I think the local markets are why people come to the Philippines the grocery stores when you go to the grocery store it's like 90% like the same as back in the States if you go to a market you get a little bit of a different experience well, I appreciate you guys for watching. I have nothing but love. Peace.